I'm going to listen to Mike Shab, Suicide 3. Um, I don't know the first two, uh, but three certainly very good. One of three albums, Vince Staples, Matt Comey and this one. that have just been in a mind-blowing month for hip-hop in general. And I'm going to enjoy this, and I think you might too. Track one, intro, and it's so much more than an intro. Uh, straight away you get that jazzy feel, and you're back to, I don't know, Guru or Stetsasonic. And... <laughs> You just think we're going to be okay here and we certainly are lovely flow lovely style lovely beat bang up to date soft but hard brilliant start more than an intro track two dog house uh jazzy jeff and the fresh prince summertime that's what it sounds like and it's a party i definitely definitely want to be at it's more mood music this than it is something like matt comey where your ears are always going in different places it really just set the mood but then again the next track comes on and it's a bit more shouty, it's a bit more, oh, okay. So there is a real nice eclectic, but it's maybe a little bit straightforward. It's great. Track three, we live in Montreal, baby. It's nice to have a track where it just tells you exactly where they're from. I think every band should do that. I'm from Peterborough, baby. You know, it's nice to know these things. Um, it's a good song as well. It's a lovely beat. It's got that sort of De La Soul Beastie Boys short track interlude bit. And yeah, yeah, I've never been, never been. I will go one day. I've been to Toronto. Uh, next stop, Montreal, look out for me. Track four, Grinchy, so I said Grimsby then for a second, uh, is a nice mellow groove. Again, this album's about grooves. It's not really about pulling your ears around, and it's got such a lovely one, you just sort of go with it. Not too much else to say about it, though. Uh, track five, though, Autumn and Fall, back to that jazzy feel, that such a laid-back groove and great little outro you're hearing here where things step up with a great sort of 70s funk build-up. Good hip-hop album, this, guys. Good hip-hop album. Track six, Free cars, more laid back grooves really. I did like the, very impressed with the guest vocalist, Ankle John, we'll be digging out some of him. He's sort of got that Cypress Hill, Danny Brown type voice that there isn't enough of in rap. Track seven though, it goes a little bit harder and I don't think I like them when they go harder. I like the more jazzy beats. It's okay, track seven, what's it called? Ben Wallace, uh, but not a standout for me. But how lucky am I to hear music from Montreal? Very lucky. Track eight, Free YSL, that's the one. Stick that one on. Don't listen to me. If you're going to listen to one track on this album that's a good summary of quality, wonderful, heartfelt, laid-back, chilled hip-hop, this is it. Track 9, Hurry Up, straightforward, old-school classic that was. It could have been Scotland Rock or somebody like that, but, you know, just good old-fashioned beat and rappers doing a great job. Slightly more at tempo, but then track 10, when that kicks in, that's a hell of a sample. You, you know from the moment that kicks in that you've got a great sample here humour in this music as well um it's just everything it's just amazing that there is such good music out there and i get a chance to listen to it Woohoo! track 11 milk crate such a lovely jazzy groove which would stand out as a, probably a best song on an album usually but on this it's probably below par which is amazing to say then track 12 seems like quite a big hit this one you can see why it's the, it's the stabs it's the the bass line it's everything about it it's just a really quality brilliant piece of music that you need to listen to track 13 transmitting life from the real world interlude it's sort of a strange little pop reggae thing that doesn't really fit in with the rest of the album um not unenjoyable but just sort of don't know why it's there but track 14 free jesus i know why why that's there that is again brilliant old school find a sample get two rappers who are obviously top of their game to rap over it and what's not to love you should love this Track 15, and I think my probably my favourite, is uh, Big Piranhas with Baldy James. I was calling him Baldy Jones. Baldy James, who is another big talent. You probably know him. If, you, if you're watching this, you probably know him. But yeah, to have these two together with, with that voice, that sound, so atmospheric. You just, you're just in the moment. In fact, I want to shut up and just listen to the rest of it. Thanks. Bye. Track 16, Free Jazz, starts off like a bit like a Free Jazz song, and his voice even, and he, I haven't banged on enough about how good this guy's rapping voice is, it really is a pleasure on the ear. And then the end of it sounds like a sort of comedy jazz outro, but the words are very, very far from comedy about suicide, suicidal thoughts. So, what a clever, clever man, clever album, thought-provoking, been so good. 17th and final track. Echoes outro, what a brilliant way to finish the album. It doesn't really sound like anything, it's more poppy than maybe anything that's come before it, but it really shows that 
puts his mind to it, he could do a hit. It's sort of mellow hit. Just uplifting as well. Really nice way to finish an album. Not long drawn out. You don't go out of a wimpy. You go out with a nice little smile. So my overall review of Mike Shab Suicide 3 is that I didn't know much or anything about Canadian hip-hop before this, but I think I might be missing a trick. This is just excellent. It's everything you want from a hip-hop album. It's got a jazzy feel. It has definitely got that sort of stetsasonic or uh, guru feel at times, but it gets harder as well. There really is just enough on here. If you like music, give it a listen. Um, and yeah, if I'm ever in Montreal, cheers, up the expos.